All Volvo wheel loaders have automatic gear shifting with four forward gears and four reverse gears. When the gear shift selector is in the fourth position, the machine will shift automatically through gears from two to four. In the third position, the machine is still automatic, but only uses two to three. In the second position, the machine only uses the second gear. When traveling greater distances, four is a good choice. For the operator, it's easy, regardless which position the shift selector is in. It's only to choose between forward and reverse. Shifting down to first gear can be done in several ways. Manual downshifting with kick down is possible on all Volvo wheel loaders. If the machine is equipped with electrohydraulic control levers, the kick down button is on the lift lever. If the operator uses CDC lever steering, there is even a kick down button on the CDC console. The operator can also select automatic downshifting to first gear using the full automatic power shift located on the A-post. When the upper end of the shift is depressed, gear one is available. This means that the machine can shift automatically between all gears selected on the gear shift selector. The automatic shifting program makes sure that all shifts are made at just the right time for optimal comfort and fuel economy. Volvo wheel loaders are equipped with a mode selector with four different shifting programs. They control when the gear change occurs, taking into consideration the machine's engine RPM and speed. Thanks to the mode selector, you have an excellent opportunity to choose a gear shifting program that matches your operating technique and working conditions. But keep in mind that the various shifting programs only move the shifting points. The machines will never be any stronger or faster in one mode or the other. In the auto position, the machine's computer selects the shifting program according to the current operating condition to achieve best comfort and economy. When selected, an A is shown in the display. Auto position is normally the best all-round choice for best fuel economy and highest productivity in all kinds of work. In certain working conditions, the operator may feel that the machine is shifting too early, too late, or too often when in the auto mode. The operator can then choose any of the other modes. Mode L means the machine shifts at low RPM and low traveling speed. When selected, an L is shown in the display. When the speed and RPM are within the white area, no shifting occurs. But as soon as the speed and RPM enter the blue area, shifting will take place. In M mode, the machine shifts at slightly higher RPM or traveling speed. In H mode, the area where no shifting occurs will be even larger. Here, the machine will only shift at higher RPMs and speeds. When activated, an H is shown in the display. Some machines have boom kickout, return to dig, and bucket positioner, which causes the attachment and the lifting arms automatically to stop in predetermined positions when pushing the lever to the end positions. This will result in shorter cycle times and reduced wear. Adjusting these three levers is simple by manually setting the correct height, then push on the respective switch until a signal occurs. The value for that function is then stored. Please refer to the operator's manual.
if the machine is equipped with lockup, activate it to reduce fuel consumption. For example, in a load and carry application. If the lockup is activated, a symbol is shown in the display. Volvo's optional boom suspension system effectively absorbs shocks and reduces the bouncing and rocking that often occurs when operating on rough ground. This results in increased comfort and productivity in all types of work. The system has two modes and is either gear dependent or speed dependent. When the switch is in its middle position, the boom suspension system is gear dependent. And when the upper end is pressed in, the boom suspension system is speed dependent. Choice of position depends on the type of work to be done. In the gear dependent position, the boom suspension is active in all gears except first gear. The gear dependent mode will mean higher productivity in loading with short cycles. The boom is rigid when filling the bucket, but as soon as the operator reverses the machine, the boom suspension is activated again. Suspension does not disengage until the next time the operator shifts down to first gear. The speed dependent mode is activated when the machine exceeds a certain speed. This means that the speed dependent mode is suitable when you need precision movements at low speeds. In reverse, suspension is engaged regardless of speed. This is especially suitable in load and carry operations. The bucket is rigid when filling, but as soon as the operator shifts to reverse, suspension is activated and the transport can be made nice and smooth all the way. Consult the operator's manual for more information. All Volvo wheel loaders have automatic gear shifting with four forward gears and four reverse gears. Volvo wheel loaders are equipped with a mode selector for different shifting programs. Volvo's optional boom suspension system has two modes, either gear dependent or speed dependent.